Oh my God, I don't miss. Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to Dunk Tip Tuesday. We got a new special episode this week. We're in the gym. What is good? Welcome back to Dunk Tip Tuesday. New Dunk Tip every freaking Tuesday. This is becoming my favorite part of my YouTube channel. This is so much fun. What is good, guys? Thank you for all the comments. Went through the community tab. You voted on the poll. Two foot technique. Today's a special episode. I was in the gym showing you the technique. So I hope you guys enjoy every single week a new dunk tip. Leave your comments, what you want to see. Hit me on Instagram, but the best way is on this video to leave a comment and I will get to it. It's really fun for me to engage with you guys and help you guys with the dunk tips you want to see. And let's get it, baby. And by the way, comment of the week goes to Gerald Fombo. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, bro. What the fuck does Steven put in his coffee? Most energetic dude I've ever seen in my life. Yo, I love that. This channel is all about achieving your dream life and pushing yourself to the limits. And dunking is the way you can prove to yourself that anything is possible. So these are the tips I wish I knew and tips I want you guys to learn from and make progress every single week. So thank you for all your comments and I'm excited to bring you them every single week. Let's go. Let's talk about two foot technique. Get those bounce up and let's freaking hot baby what what's poppin dunk tip tuesday special edition we in the gym let's get it two foot technique how you bounce off them two feet though <laughs> okay so i'm gonna get into it pretty quickly and then probably break it down for you so you guys can really make the most out of your two foot technique it's what i've uh, picked up and i want to give you some quick mistakes that i've made so you don't carve them so let's get started with the mistakes i want you to avoid these first one is i threw lobs from this angle to go dunk always and so then I had one carved pattern. Not everybody is as crazy in their mind as I am, but that's me. I don't have the natural talent to just translate that. So then when I tried to jump right left from this angle, like this, my pattern was off and I would always jump super weird and it's just not what I want to do. Tip number two, point is I'm very, I'm not, I wasn't versatile. I want you guys to, when you throw lobs, when you're practicing dunks, Every session, try different angles. It's gonna be good for your brain. It's gonna be good for your body. We're trying to dunk on people in games, so we wanna be able to do it from any direction. Mistake number two was only throwing lobs. I want you guys to try dribble dunks from all angles, and don't just get comfortable with the lobs, because I got so good at the lobs that my dribble dunks, I was like, I could, I could barely function with the ball in my hand. So practice dribble dunks, practice your lobs. I know you wanna jump higher, I know you wanna dunk, I know you wanna yam it, but I promise you, I want you to be the most versatile because it's the most fun you could have more bodies you can catch you can do more dunks you're going to be happy you took the time to work on all those different factors all right so let's get into the technique and then i'm going to give you some exercises and some tips to work on it to really strengthen it get it carved deep get your technique on point and keep it working for you instead of against you all right so when it comes to two foot technique the very basics are a big penultimate step off the back foot and you want to plant, big arm swing, and the eyes up, your chin up, your chest up. You want this to be your positioning where you're lowering, but you're staying looking at the rim. So big key is always looking at the rim. That's why I like the lobs. That's why I like the backboard dunk, because the ball is in the air. So if you, can't, if you want to help yourself jump higher, you can even throw it off the backboard, even if you can't dunk, and just go for it. So for the approach, pretty basic way to start is just a three-point line. I come from a little bit of an angle. I'm right, left. Come like this, try not to stutter step. Boom, boom, push off. And one thing I notice a lot too is a lot of times people are hopping into their plant. So they're jumping like this, right? You don't want your feet to be exactly simultaneous, but the closer to the simultaneous, the better. You want those last two steps to be really quick, almost simultaneous. And I push off sometimes even from the free throw line to get this jump where I push off like this because I'm running so fast. So as a shorter dunker, I use a lot of my speed and the, the, I push off that leg a lot to get into that penultimate. So a big penultimate, boom, and you wanna think about it pushing it low. So you're pushing off the back leg, keeping it low, arm swing back, and really taking off smooth. And it's okay to be uh, straight on like this, but, and, or very sideways like that. That's where people vary. It's not gonna be the exact same, but the majority of people are gonna have a little bit of twist. They stop their momentum with this foot and a little bit of an angle and they take off like this, okay? So some people kind of take off and they're almost really straight, but that's really hard to stop your momentum. And some people twist a lot. So if they come from this angle, they're gonna twist a lot, you know? But it's very natural to twist a little bit. And if you're coming left, right, totally okay. 
if you're a right-handed, Jordan Kilgannon, Isaiah Rivera, they're both left, right, right-handers, and they come like this, and they still twist a little bit, and they go up with their right hand. Doesn't matter, it's whatever you're comfortable with, but another big tip, a big mistake I see a lot, is people trying to switch or just trying to do certain dunks. My biggest advice is to do both. Do right, left, left, right, and do both hands. The more versatile, the better. It can only help you. It's gonna keep your legs balanced. It's gonna keep you, your dunks in your repertoire open. And it's also gonna let you catch more bodies, which is the goal. So one of the best ways to practice two foot jumping is one step at a time. So we all know how to stand still jump. You just stand here and jump. But even that, I get wrong sometimes because I'm all the way in my toes, like I'm jumping like this. You wanna lower and into your heels and try to use that booty, right? But one of the greatest ways to work on your technique is just one step away. So all you're doing is penultimate step, which is that long step, and taking off, right? So you're just like this, boom, and taking off as hard as you can, looking up the whole time. And if you're trying to switch plants, my advice would be the same, would be use that plant and just do one step at a time. So as you're doing one step at a time, if this is feeling good and you're, I want you to learn what it feels like, sometimes you're gonna be leaning, sometimes you're gonna be jumping under the rim. If you're feeling explosive and you're going balanced, then you could start to add more steps. So at first we did one step, boom, right, left, right? So now we do one more step. So we do left and then the penultimate, right? Just be like, boom. So now you're adding one more step. So you have one step, then the penultimate, then the takeoff. So we started with just the takeoff with standstill, try to get that bouncy. Then you could even do less, where you're just like this, and you're, you're in the penultimate already, and you just take off, boom, until so that feels symmetric and balanced. And by, that, by symmetric and balanced, I mean your feet are straight. And one quick tip, another quick, this is full of quick tips, is that people ask me, why do my legs kick up? How do you kick up your legs? Does it help you jump higher? I don't think it helps you jump higher, but I do think it's a great sign that you got a good balance of force between your legs. Because when I jump up, if I pushed off both legs, they pushed off the ground that when they come off, that energy's coming out my body, my legs just come up. So I actually notice that when I jump, sometimes when I go left, right, especially it's my awkward plant, I'm not that great at it, I'll notice that I jump left, right, and this leg will come up, and this one doesn't. So that's a good sign for me that I didn't really get a good balance. You really want a good balance using both of your legs. You're gonna have a dominant leg for right, left. This leg is stopping all your momentum, hence why it's bigger than the left. But even though it's stopping the momentum, when you take off, you wanna take off balance. You wanna take off strong. In the penultimate, take off and just do reps of this till it feels comfortable. Notice your technique. Make sure you're, you're planting correctly, you're planting fast. Then you do just the penultimate, boom. Then you could work on how far you could do the penultimate. So you're just doing the penultimate, so one step. Boom, boom, push as far as you can go. Then you're doing two steps. So one step, then the penultimate. Boom, and you're taking off, right? And I'd be jumping, but I just don't wanna be crazy out of breath. And then you work up to just three steps total, and that's your full approach. You don't really need more than three steps. You see some of the best dunkers in the world taking three big strides and flying. Everybody's different. There's speed jumpers, there's power jumpers. Learn what you need, but most importantly is those last steps, the penultimate into your takeoff, correct positioning, and don't jump into it smooth and explosive, and work one step at a time, carving those patterns, and you're gonna take off. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Great episode today, obviously, because I mean, I'm biased by it, but anyway, have a great week, have a great day, keep dunking. I had an insane dunk session with Golden Bear coming soon, so stay tuned for the dopest pictures you've ever seen and a dope, uh, what do you wanna call it, vlog. It's so much more than a vlog, cinematic B-roll, it's like a commercial, dude, it's like an experience. Hope you guys enjoy. Toodles!